All right. Um, I wanted to do a little bike check for the old Bombora here. Um, sometimes in ultra romance videos on ronsbikes.com, he sort of does like a very relaxing narrative about his bikes um, with close ups and very nice footage. And I wanted to do the same thing with my Bombora here. Um, there's the crank set, uh, kind of the crown jewel of the build is this grotesque Claris crank set with a wolf tooth elliptical chain ring. It's, uh, it's weird, it doesn't really make sense, it's not pretty, it's not White Industries, but I think it adds some character. And there's the old GX derailleur uh, with the grass in it. Um, the GX derailleur is fucked up. Uh, you can see that the cage down there is broken off. Later I took the old bolt cutters and, and cut that off. Um, just put new tires on. Pan Eraser, Gravel King SK 700 by 50, totally maxing out the clearance of the Bombora, which is designed for 650B. Um, there's my kind of like back of the bike reflecto. Got the Tunitas Creative saddlebag there. Blue Lug Coma Light, WTB. Uh, I forget what the saddle's called, but it's the camo one. Got that at Golden Pliers. Nitto seat post from Rivendell. Thanks, Will. Got a good amount of stickers on there. That sticker is a Long Slow Days uh, Calling In Sick specific ride sticker that we gave out on that ride. Um, There's only a hundred of those in existence. We've got the Huffy and the Surly font, the P Sports little B, the modification to the Roadrunner bags, Hit People, some Blue Lug. The cat that Will always draws, and then one fewer canyon. You can get those on the web store. I'll, I'll post a link to it. Um, yeah, lots of stickers. There's the cockpit, obviously. Those are Richie Coralito spars. They're they're pretty like touring oriented, kind of like gravel flared out bars um, with a little bit of rise to them. And then my beloved TRP RRL levers. I'm actually going to be swapping out the whole group soon because that derailleur is so messed up. I'm going to get some micro shift sword and kind of ruin the, the aesthetic of the bike, unfortunately. But it'll work a lot better. Um, and that's how I use the mountain bike group is the, the Paul uh, SRAM shifter adapter, the 31.8 millimeter adapter. It's kind of weird, but... It works, and it allows you to use a mountain bike group on a drop bar bike, so that's good. Got the Spur Cycles bell, of course, although the hubs are loud enough, you don't even really need the bell. Um, that's a Randy Joe uh, stem mounted koozie thing. There's the clearance, looks like about maybe four millimeters. Beautiful fork crown. Got the uh, shovel research brass bolts. Just like an aesthetic detail. And then, oh, that crust headset's pretty cool. I think it's called 24 Palms headset. It's got the palm trees etched into it. Head badge. Honestly, haven't really looked at the head badge up close. It's got a lot of stuff going on. I'm not quite sure what, what that all is, but it looks cool. Um, oh, it's a wave, I think. I don't know. Calloy Uno. Only the finest stem. Um, if you recall the discussion of stems from the original Bombora build video, that stem's been going strong. It's great. And here's the blingy part of the bike. We got Industry 9 hubs. Um, Paul Clampers, of course. I've had this wheel set forever. thing just keeps going. Bought it for like $400 on, on a forum. It's a Velocity Blunt SS rims, which are like super light. Um, uh, kind of like XC rims, cross-country mountain bike rims. Pretty wide. Um, great rim. 
great hubs, great brakes, blue lug pedals. I think these are called the shark pedal, which is pretty cool. I love sharks. Um, and the pedals are great too. I guess we're going back around for a second second run of things here. There's the rear hub, pretty messy. Uh, I've been riding this bike a lot on like all my, uh, you know, mixed terrain rides. It's the way it rides is is nice. It's it's light. I mean, it's not terribly light. It's not too light, but it's nice and springy and boingy. Um, so it's very comfortable off road. There's that busted derailleur. Uh, if you watch the uh, long slow days slug calling in sick video, you'll see there's a, a clip of the big stick that got stuck in my derailleur, and that's why that derailleur is busted. So, um, yeah, there it is. Full body shot. It's a really fun bike. Thing freaking shreds. I've, ju I've just been riding it so much. Um, there's some more tire clearance. Kind of, it's kind of an issue there. The, the tire definitely rubs on the C tube, which is, you know, I, I don't think Crust would recommend this, so I wouldn't do this. Um, although I haven't had any issues. Um, the Reflecto Triangle is a special collabo between uh, Peace Sports, Isaac, and uh, Blue Lug. There's a frontal, frontal shot. Um, it's a really nice bike. I really like riding it. It's definitely, like, I think some people try to make these into like road bikes or rando bikes or something. I kind of don't think that's the vibe. I think it's a trail bike. Like it's, it's too, I don't know, it's too, it's not, like I say it's not responsive and that's not a diss, it's like a good thing, but it's just like, you're not like sprinting on this bike. It's not like a, I don't know, it's not like a road bike. It's a freaking, like it's a monster truck gravel bike is what it is. So like, I wouldn't buy this if you want to like do a brevet on it, unless it was like a dirt brevet. I think just, like if you love shredding trails, but you don't want to ride a, a hardtail, this is kind of like the next thing down from that. Um, it's perfect for Marin. It's great for the East Bay. I just did a ride with uh, Low Pressure Mag. Check them out. It's uh, Instagram is uh, at Low Pressure Zine, and then their big cartel where you can buy the mag and, and other stuff is uh, lowpressure.bigcartel.com. Um, they're they're doing like a ride series in the East Bay, and it's just been super nice. Um, yeah, so that's my Bombora. Um, super fun bike. Um, very pretty. Oh, I mean, I think it looks cool. I think maybe people like get into the habit of building these too nice, where it's like a bunch of like kind of like like polished silver stuff, and it, and then it becomes too precious. I would recommend just like building it by feel, like ball out when you want to ball out, and like cheap out where you want to cheap out, and and you get this like nice balance of um, just like very capable bike that's not too precious that you can get dirty and that you can um enjoy the way you'd enjoy like a, a an overly precious bike but without feeling like oh man if i scratch my fucking white industries cranks i'm gonna lose my shit uh, i think well that's that's just a general comment maybe that goes for all bikes um but i digress yep i hope you enjoy the video all right thanks Bye bye